Hello, my name is Nikahar J. Akins, and can get Clyde Aloisia, and here I will be showing you how I shade skin, especially dark skin, because I don't see enough on this topic. And as a person of color myself, I figure, why not do this as my first official video tutorial? Well, okay. So what I'm doing here is I'm starting off with the darkest tones first, and then I'm going over them with lighter tones. And I'm, make, and I'm making sure that as I choose my colors, I get a variety of different tones to work with as I, as I shade his skin. Because what I notice when people, when people draw dark skin, skin in general, but especially dark skin, is that they'll make the skin look very grayish. And girl, girl, okay. I know we can get ashy, but we ain't that ashy, okay? We ain't that ashy. Cut us some slack. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm adding some contrast, some oranges, some reds. I'm adding the lighter. I'm, I'm adding the lightest tones last, and then, and I'm taking it. I'm being, I'm being very moderate with how. With, with how I use the lighter tones because I don't want to overwhelm the the skin with like extreme whites and all and then all of that. Oh yeah, number one art tip: do not use white or black when shading. Like avoid it as much as as much as possible. But I guess you can use it but it, it, it will make your art look rather muddy and just, just kind of unappealing to the eye so i advise against it strongly <laughs> also don't be afraid to use like wild colors when drawing skin like I know when people think of skin, they think they think pinks and browns, maybe yellow, you know, maybe maybe some grays. But you actually, <laughs> sorry, that was my cat. I don't know if you, if you think you can hear that, but he's meowing like really loudly. I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah. Don't be afraid to use wild colors like bright oranges, bright reds, even purples and blues, especially when when drawing like when trying to render that the the arms and the hands, especially with the, with the vein people and with lighter skin people, you can really see the um the underlying blues and greens and purples and and all of those wonderful colors underneath their skin okay what I'm doing here now is just going over everything I did and softening it adding details finessing um, adding more skin texture I'm going over I, I did not know what I, what I wanted to do with this mouth <laughs> during the tutorial I am so sorry I changed their mouth like 20 billion times. I know I'm tripping. I'm sorry. Um, I also couldn't decide what I want to do with their hair. You'll see that pretty soon. <laughs> um, let's see. What else can I say on this? I'm like... <laughs> Okay, well, right here, I'm just adding details to his hair. I also couldn't decide what the hell I wanted to do with their hair. <laughs> I changed it, like, three times. I'm sorry. This, this is, like, one of my main problems when I'm drawing. I'll redraw the same shit, like, 20 billion times. And not, I'm not satisfied until I just make myself stop. <laughs> um... Let's see. 
What else can I say? Uh, I don't know. That I, I don't really have anything else to say on this, other than just don't don't be afraid to use exaggerated bright colors when when drawing skin. And I always re recommend to, to, to keep a palette on the side when you're drawing so, so your colors don't get all confused and, and muddy looking because like before I started using palettes I, I, I would just randomly pick colors and then my art would was looking all messed up and shit. So, <laughs> okay, my art from last year. It was oh no, not last year, but like two years ago to early last year. My art was like crying out for help <laughs> because I I did not use a palette like at all. And I was just randomly picking colors and using the eye dropper tool like no tomorrow and my colors was looking messed up as fuck. <laughs> like I, I don't know I at this point all I'm doing is just rendering. Going going over everything and just detail. So I'ma shut up now and just let this drag on. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you for listening to me ramble about my coloring process. I'll I'll try this again, <laughs> then try to do it better <laughs> next time I make a video. Bye bye.